and today we're doing a homeschool room tour. So today's video is a collaboration with a couple other ladies. It's hosted by Tabitha Kelly and I will leave the links for their videos in the description box if you want to check them out. If you're coming from their channels, hi, I'm glad that you're here. My name is Julie and I do videos on homemaking, homeschooling, and intentional living. So if that interests you, consider subscribing. So I wanted to share my dining room table first because this is where I have homeschooled uh, my oldest child basically for the past three years also on the couch <laughs> and we put everything that we had in a dresser drawer and that's all we needed we had an abacus some printables some pencils and a little pencil sharpener and that's all we really needed <laughs> so if you don't have a homeschool room or area uh, don't worry about it you can use what you have to educate your child go to the library it's free printables are plentiful on the internet so I just wanted to encourage you with that but this year I got a map and this is my dining room but I thought that this map looked nice and my husband is gonna frame it for me so that I'll look even better but for now I just have some thumbtacks but I just like the color scheme how it's kind of tan and our table is pretty well worn I thought about painting it um, but it does just show that it's been well left. So I don't know if I like the vintage look or if I'm going to paint it. Let me know what you think I should do in the comments. But this is where we do a lot of our schoolwork. And let me show you where we put our schoolwork. So across from our dining room table, we have this, what is called a shoe cabinet from Ikea. So in this cabinet drawer, we hold our unit studies, which we do together as a group. We have a cursive um, placemat, a world map and regular letters. I also keep our phonics cards in there as well as the K reader which goes through the alphabet. So this is reinforcing for my kindergartner the different um, letters and also all about facts about animals and then my three-year-old can kind of get introduced to the alphabet as well. I have this um, little whiteboard I guess that I cut off the end of the phonics cards it was left over and now my Three-year-old can draw on this while my older ones are writing words on the board. A rag to wipe the board, a big racer for when it's necessary, and an ecology book. This is Wonders of Creation series, and it goes along with the unit that we're learning about right now, which is agriculture. Here in the next cabinet area is for my oldest kiddo. So he has a clipboard for whatever he's currently working on. He has his language arts all in here. He has his math in here printed out. This is the uh, master books math. And we're using the good and the beautiful for literature. And then here I took out the spelling words, the sight word ladders, poetry, um, and that sort of thing. And I put it in here. And this is where I keep a calendar to write out what he did that specific day. And just like for the day to day things that he's doing on that particular day. The bottom left cabinet is for my daughter. She is in kindergarten this year. So we have the same sort of thing where she has her language arts and literature here. She has her own clipboard as well and she has her math printed. And then she also has her sight words and spelling words and anything for the specific day as well as her calendar for me to write down what she did each day. And the bottom right cabinet is for my three-year-old. So we have things like an abacus which the older ones can use or he can play with. We have this big mat that um, has a bunch of fun math and all that kind of stuff. Stuff, So he can put it on the floor and sit on it, play with toys, or learn something, or we can all learn something. And then he and I each have a clipboard as well, and he'll just do some little fun drawings on regular pieces of paper while my kids are doing math or language art. Moving on. So this is our living room space. We do lots of school right here on the couch. And in the morning, I like to put on the Bible app so we can hear the Bible, but also I will read my Bible and the kids can read some picture Bibles or just look at the pictures. And that's something I'm trying to establish. I haven't been super good at sitting down and just doing nothing and listening to the word every morning. So that's something that we're trying to get more into the habit of. And I really like listening with the Bible app. So I feel like I'm getting nurtured instead of just reading to them. <laughs> I just 
I just do better when I'm hearing it. So I like putting on the Bible app and then um, looking through scripture, highlighting things, writing, and um, letting the kids look through picture Bibles while I do that. And then we have some of our other things up here, which I will go into. Um, most of the stuff in here is from Ikea. The rug was actually from Amazon, which I thought was really interesting. <laughs> so I will link the rug if you're interested in that. The table, the chairs, and both couches were from Ikea. The curtains are brown. I don't know if you can tell that in here, but those are from Amazon and they're really good quality. They block out light if you need that to happen. And I will link those if you're interested in that and anything else that I know of that's from Amazon or easily accessible, I'll let you know um, where it's from. Just in case you're interested, um, for my son, our dog got a hold of this back when they were puppies, <laughs> so it's like falling apart. But also he reads a lot. But this is the Action Bible and it's pretty cool. It looks like comics kind of, but it's the Bible. So I will link this um, version of the Bible. If you have kids who like comics, they might be interested in this. And my son has learned a ton because it's super interesting to him. So I will link that. And for my daughter, we have this one, Nelson's Children's Bible. And it also has lots of illustrations. As you can see, and I know there are a ton of Bibles out there, but if I can link this one, I will. And then this one, I think I got from a grocery store. And so this one's just a really simple one. So this is the one that my youngest looks at. And that's what they're looking at. And I just got a leather bound Bible, so. Okay, we'll start over here. Um, these are the Christian Liberty Nature Readers. I've wanted these for a long time and I got them when they were on 30% off. Christianbook.com regularly has sales. This is not a sponsored or anything, but um, you check out their, their uh, website. Sometimes they do really big sales. I know they had one for back to school, but I like, it just has like a lot of information. I haven't read them yet, so I can't like suggest them, but I've heard good things and I've been excited to get them and learn lots about different animals and stuff. And this is my wedding certificate. It actually was silver when we got it and now it looks rose gold because it's so old. <laughs> we um, just celebrated 12 years, so that's exciting. Um, and then I have the, the Wonders of Creation series. This is like a Christian science um, resource, I guess. And it just has lots of information, has a biblical worldview, creation oriented. And um, I just think the pictures are amazing. And they even have like website things you can look at too. So they have astronomy, minerals, weather, ocean, cave book, um, an old astronomy one, and then a fossil book and geology. And then I have one other one that I just showed you. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Down here we have the globe, which I just talked about in my back to school favorites. This is from Amazon. When you light it up at night, it has the constellations that you can see. So I will link that in the description box. Hi. Hi. So at the very bottom underneath our TV, we just have random books. The kids also have books in their bedrooms too, so this is not our entire book collection, but it just has some fun ones that they can um, pull out and read on the couch if they want to. And over here I have a peace lily that needs some love and my air purifier. Then I have wedding books and some random fake flowers and coasters. More candles. This is from Walmart. I actually got it through Walmart Grocery Pickup. I love the color of that. This is super old. I've had it forever. I don't even know where I got those from. This was for my wedding and those are shells from here in Florida that I collected once when I lived out of state and I really love. I have this coral and that has survived for like a dozen years. <laughs> Maybe like over 10 years this coral has survived. Moves all, moves all over the place. Um, and that journal Rochelle in the back. So those just mean a lot to me because I collected them when I didn't live in Florida. And then this was our Unity Candle um, holder when we, got, when we got married. This was a gift from my husband's grandma and it was a gift to her from a friend of hers who made it for her. So that's really special, especially since she's in heaven now. And this contains um, some things that we use, but not every single day, some books that we're currently reading that sort of thing so it's I kind of get it down a lot but I don't need it like all the time and then this has a bunch of our like three hole punch and sharpener and paper cutter <laughs> like all those like big kind of like appliance things this I also got from Walmart through the Walmart grocery pickup this has stuff like remotes and stuff for the TV has some resource books in here I got these from Ikea all these are from Ikea and then this whole like 
entertainment center thing is from Ikea. These are also from Walmart. And then this, these um, holders are from Ikea. So I think that's everything. And then this has all of our pencils in it. And then this, this has some scissors, some reinforcements, some these things, measuring rulers, um, a little clock, extra. Uh, these are like the rest of our phonics cards that we haven't added in yet. Um, some subtraction flashcards. Oh, and then stickers if they do awesome. I have a sticker. You want a sticker? So that's everything that I have to show you today. If you have any questions, let me know. I do video Q and A's with my mom every once in a while. She homeschooled for kids K through 12. So yes, I was homeschooled. And so if you have any questions, let me know. And we like to answer your questions together. I feel like she has way more experience than I do. This is my fourth year. Um, it's my first year homeschooling two kids. So super fun. It's um, something I'm really enjoying. and I love the community here. Check out my Instagram as well. I'm on there more often than I am here and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will leave the link for all the other ladies videos in the description box. So definitely check those out. I'm looking forward to seeing their spaces and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I go anywhere, anywhere.